Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gate Engineering Online Learning Classes. This is Dr. Mohan Mansal. In this video of Quick Region Series, we will discuss about power analysis in AC circuit. So, we will start with the complex power. The complex power is nothing but product of VRMS and IRMS. So, complex power is denoted by a bold face of S, which is VRMS, IRMS conjugate. If we talk about the power in the DC circuit, that is just product of voltage and current because network in the DC circuit is pure resistive. But here, this network may consist of inductor and capacitor also. So, network may be RL, RC or RLC. So, power will be complex. That's why this power will consist of real part and imaginary power. So, this is denoted by VRMS, IRMS. And if we consider V is, V may be, V is, VM, cos omega t plus theta v and current is i m cos omega t plus theta i if this voltage and current are given in this form it can be written as v m angle theta v in the polar form and current can be written as i m angle theta i in the polar form but here complex power is product of vrms and irms so VRMS is nothing but it is equal to VM divided by root 2 and phase angle is theta V and IRMS is the IM divided by root 2 and phase angle is theta I. So if we take the product of this two by taking the complex conjugate of IRMS, complex power is S, capital S in bold phase, it will be VM IM divided by root 2 vm i m divided by 2 angle of theta v minus theta i if we multiply vrms with the irms conjugate we will get the complex power and in the polar form it is vm i m divided by 2 angle of theta v minus theta i if we write the same thing in the rectangular form it will be vm i m divided by 2 cos of theta v minus theta i plus j sin theta v minus theta i this is the complex power in the rectangular form this part and this part is the complex power in the polar form so this is the complex power after that we will talk about active power real power reactive power and apparent power apparent power is denoted by a magnitude of the complex power if i write apparent power Apparent power is nothing but the magnitude of the complex power. Apparent power is magnitude of the complex power, which is equal to VRMS, IRMS. And in terms of VM, IM, it is VM, IM divided by 2. Fine. So let me see. I summarize this thing. Complex power is nothing but the P plus JQ, where P is the real power and Q is the imaginary power. So, real power is the VRMS, IRMS cos theta V minus theta I. So, we see in the previous equation, this is the VRMS, IRMS product and this is the real part which is multiplied with the cos theta V minus theta I. And the imaginary part is the VRMS, IRMS sin theta V minus theta I. So complex power is S is equal to P plus JQ, which is product of VRMS, IRMS conjugate. And apparent power is the magnitude of the complex power, which is product of VRMS, IRMS only. And it can be written as P square plus Q square, square root of the P square plus Q square. Real power is the, so what did we get? S is VRMS, IRMS, cos theta V minus theta I plus j vrms irms sin theta v minus theta i this part is nothing but the p which is the real power and this part is nothing but the q which is the reactive power reactive power because of the reactance inductive reactance or it may be capacitive reactance real power is only because of the resistance so p is the real part of s which is s cos theta v minus theta i where this S is nothing but the VRMS, IRMS. Okay, and this S is the complex power, bold S. And Q is the imaginary part of S, which is 
unvolt as sin theta v minus theta i that is vrms i rms sin theta v minus theta i and power factor is nothing but power factor is nothing but product of a uh, power factor is cos of theta v minus theta i cos of theta v minus theta i if you take the ratio of the real power with the apparent power we will get the cos theta v minus theta i because real power is as cos theta v minus theta i and apparent power is s so as will cancel out its power factor is cos theta v minus theta i so if any 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 two parameters will be given out of these four like s p q and uh, power factor angle we can calculate the other powers very easily okay and we know this is the complex power which is s is equal to p plus j q so this is the complex number we can represent this power in the power triangle we can represent this power in the power triangle where p is the real power on the real axis q is the imaginary power on the imaginary axis and theta is the power factor angle this theta is the power factor angle which is theta v minus theta i and s is the complex power which is square root of p square plus q square by using pythagoras theorem this is entirely similar to the impedance triangle this is the impedance triangle and in the impedance triangle phase angle is the same power factor r is the resistance x is the reactance and z is the impedance because we know impedance is magnitude of the impedance is square root of r square plus x square now we'll see one numerical problem on this topic so the uh, problem will be very clear uh, topic will be very clear by understanding this problem so in this question we have given a voltage vt which is 60 cos omega t minus 10 so here 60 is nothing but the vm and theta v is equal to minus 10 phase angle of voltage is minus 10 maximum voltage is 60 and current is given in the direction of the voltage drop so current i m is 5 1.5 and phase angle of the current is theta i which is 50 degree so we have information v is equal to vm angle theta v which is nothing but 60 angle minus 10 if we talk about the current i is equal to i m angle theta i so i m is 1.5 and angle is just 50. so we have vm angle theta v which is 60 angle minus 10 and current is 1.5 angle 50 degree so we know the complex power complex power is just product of vrms irms conjugate so vrms is 60 divided by root 2 angle minus 10 multiply with the irms which is 1.5 divided by root 2 because rms value is the maximum value divided by root 2 in the ac signal angle is 50 degree if we simplify it we will get 60 into 1.5 divided by 2 angle minus 10 plus 50 uh, it will be minus 50 because we need to take the complex conjugate of current so phase angle the actual phase angle is 50 if we take the complex conjugate it will become minus 50 so minus 10 angle minus 50 is minus 60 so this will be 30 multiplied by 1.5 is 45 angle minus 60 so this is the complex power we have the complex power is 45 angle minus 60 degree now if we need to calculate the apparent power second part is the apparent power complex power is done apparent power apparent power is nothing but it's the magnitude of the complex power which is 45 in this case this is the magnitude this is the phase so magnitude is the 45 so apparent power is 45 so now we have given the complex power we will calculate the real and reactive power with the help of complex power so complex power is what 45 angle minus 60 we will write so second part is starting from here b this is the a part so complex power is given 45 angle minus 60 it can be written in the rectangular form from the polar form that is 45 cos minus 60 plus j 45 sin minus 60 so from here 45 cos minus 60 minus j uh, 45 cos 60 minus j 45 sin 60 so this is the complex power in the rectangular form so what did we get complex power is 45 cos 60 minus j 45 sin 60 so this is our p which is the real power 
this is the p which is the real power because this is the real power of the complex power and 45 sin 60 is the q which is the imaginary power or it is called reactive power reactive power so here uh, p is equal to 45 cos 60 and q is the it's minus 45 sin 60 because complex power is p plus jq so q is minus 45 sin 60 after that third part is c is the power factor so you can substitute the value of cos 60 and sin 60 you will get the answer for the p and q i am going to explain the power factor now so power factor is nothing but power factor is nothing but cos theta v minus theta i so here it is equal to cos 60 fine and now thereafter we need to calculate the load impedance and all of you know the impedance is nothing but if all of you know the impedance is nothing but if you see this diagram in this diagram what is impedance voltage divided by current the so overall impedance will be load impedance is voltage divided by current so impedance can be calculated by v divided by i so v is the v is given as 60 angle minus 10 and current is 1.5 angle 50 so from here it will be 40 angle minus 60 so this is the impedance in O because current is given in the ampere so impedance will be in the O so this is the impedance so in this video in this short video we have seen the complex power thereafter we discuss about the apparent power real power reactive power power factor and impedance calculation and we have seen one numerical problem i hope this will be very helpful for your university exam as well as your gate exam thank you